Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to customize your blog module. Let me show you what we're gonna do. So over here you can see when you first add your blog module, this is what it looks like. It's very plain, but uh, you can also go in and add some subtle adjustments. So over here on the bottom, this is where I've made my adjustments. So you can see I've changed the color of my um, blog title here. I've also changed the font. And I've also added some rounded corners. And one thing that you may have not noticed here is if I hover over here, you can see we have this overlay. So on the default one here, we don't really have much going on. So we, we you know, there isn't any customizations to this. So what I normally see a lot of people do is they go in and just use this as it is. So you want to go in and really customize this and make it look, you know, slightly different and make it custom to your own website. If you're brand new to web design and you'd like to learn how to design websites with WordPress and Divi, I have a bonus for you. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so in this very first example, we are going to take a look at the blog module. So here I am in my front end editor. So I'm going to start off by adding just one column. And in that column, we're going to add blog. So as you can see, in fact, you know, for this to work, you need to have your blogs in place. So as you can see, by default, this is what you get. I mean, it's not even customized. It's pretty boring. So even if we come over here to the layout and change this from full width to grid, still, you know, this is pretty much what it looks like out of the box. So we want to customize this and make it look different. So the first thing we're going to do is to switch back over here, click on elements, and um, we are going to leave our featured image here. That's great. Uh, the author, let's remove the categories because I don't want too much information on this uh, blog. Now, the next thing is let's take a look at excerpts should we show the excerpts in fact these are the sort of choices that you can do so as you can see the excerpts are gone here but you know what let's keep the excerpts on but we are going to go in and customize how much we're going to show so over here you can see the length is 270 let's set it to let's say 160 so we're just reducing the text here so we don't have a lot so i think that looks that looks okay so what we can do now to make this look really, really awesome is to start to customize this by going here into the titles. So I'm going to go in and let's say we're going to use this for our title and code sans semi-condensed. Right. So next we can play around with the colors here so we can add that color. Now let's go in and do the, um, the rest of the text here. So here I'm going to go with, okay, let's go, let's keep it consistent and use the same. Right, now I'm gonna add some letter spacing here, and then let's move on to the paragraph text. Let's change this to Leto, there we go. So I think that looks all right. So what you need to do to really make this look awesome is to customize this with the colors that you have in your palette. So over here, I'm not gonna to go too crazy with this. I just wanna show you how to make this look really awesome. So what I'm gonna do now is, while I'm here on design, I'm gonna add a background to this. So let's go to content background. And now you can add a background to the whole uh, blog uh, module like this. But you know what? I don't like doing it that way. I prefer adding my background on this actual blog. So I'm going to come over here to design. So first of all, let's let's do the style. Let's add a border here. So you can see here we have one pixel border. We can also add some rounded corners. There we go. So now let's add some color to this, but one rule of thumb with the color, you don't want to go too bright like that because it doesn't really look nice. So what you want to do is to go in and add some transparency to that. So just make it very subtle. So as you can see, just by going in and making a few changes, I've gone in and I was able to customize this and make it look really awesome. So let's go back in here and let's do a few more things. So post count, let's say you just want to show three. You can go in and just show three. So over here on design, you can also go on overlay and uh, do some overlays. So this is something that you can also do to make your design a bit different. So as you can see here, the overlay doesn't look great because my color here is pretty much off. So you can see here, I can add my icon color and 
overlay background color let's add let's go with that now the tip here is when you use overlay background colors you want to come over here and add some transparency okay like that now look at that that looks much much better and you know what on the icon color i want to go with let's go with white so i'm going to drag this all the way up here to white and now that looks much better but of course you want to change the icon itself so let's go with let's go with this plus there we go so that is how quickly you can go in and customize your blog module don't use the standard blog module go in customize it make it look different all right so that's all i have for you in today's video thank you very much for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification by doing so you'll be notified when i release new tutorials see you soon